Oh, must have coffee. It was another dark and gloomy day. All of last week, we didn't get hardly any rain at all. Any rain at all. The interesting thing is, I'm working all day, so I can't do what I want to do and get stuff done that I need to get outside. And now it's my weekend, it's my time, and it's raining again. I'm so ready for summer. So, so ready. Oh my gosh. Crazy stuff. So basically I'm going to say screw the rain. It's kind of uh, stopped right now. And I need to get some stuff done on the remodel in the back bedroom or the office. Because I've just been, just been putting it off. And uh, vlogging and everything takes up a lot of time, believe it or not. But I think I've said that before. So anyway, uh, last night... Tombstones. We were able, or actually Travis was able to uh, get one of the words transferred. And basically all you do is you lay the, the piece of paper down and with a pen you push really hard to basically imprint the word to the styrofoam. You want the imprint on the styrofoam and then you go back over it and you write it in. And uh, the next step is going to be to uh, use the Dremel tool and kind of etch it out a little bit. So that's where the tombstones at. But my, my main point in, in, in doing this little segment that I'm doing right now is awesome stuff. You guys know that I was waiting for the boo box and I, I thought that it was going to come last week. So I've been awaiting and anticipating the dang thing getting here. So I went back and I looked at the email that I got when I originally purchased it online and I did, I found a tracking number, duh. <laughs> so I went to take a look to see, and this thing's coming from Canada, I didn't realize that. So it was actually difficult to uh, try and find what mail service, because on the receipt they didn't say what mail service they used. Anyway, here's the awesome thing. Here we've got, coming into the United States, and then it goes all the way down to Florida, I don't understand that. And then to Redmond, which is way up north, and then look at this, Fife, Washington, United States, out for delivery. So guess what? That means that hopefully, anytime, and I'm, I'm home today and I'm off of work, so that's like even better. So when it gets here, I'll know it. So, ah, let me sit here. <sighs> All right, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. False alarm. <sighs> Waiting. Uh, you guys don't have to wait with me. Go, go ahead and do something and, and I'll be right here. Waiting. So, awesome stuff right here. UPS is just pulling away. I've got the boo box. How cool is that? And um, awesome UPS driver. I didn't get his name, unfortunately. Um, but he was like totally in. He saw the uh, you know the cut car out front and everything. And so he did a little uh, Halloween talk for a little while. So that was really cool. So you guys got to see this. I'm like so excited right now. And again, you're just gonna like not be able to see. Like, oh wait, let's do this. Does that work a little better? Stay. Awesome. Yeah, so this is like totally the next step to what I need to do. Oh, the receipt. I don't want you guys to see that. What is this? Scaremaster. Important information. Oh, you guys can't see this, I know, I'm sorry. Oh, look at this. So, here is the Boo Box. And, man, it came with more stuff than I thought it, it would come with. I, I didn't think it came with any cables or anything like that, but I see cables in the, in the box. And here is the Scaremaster. This is the programmer. 
for the Boo Box. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Awesome. It looks just like the videos online. Because if you guys go to, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, FrightIdeas.com. Right there. FrightIdeas.com. Uh, they actually have videos. And I think they're hosted by YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, videos of how to operate all this. So after I get the power supply and everything and get this thing running, and I've got to get a hookup for the computer too, for the uh, SD card. This is heavy. This feels like a power supply. And it also comes with data cord to, uh, to hook it up. And it is. It is a power supply. So absolutely, I don't need another one. So this is the power supply for the ScareMaster. Uh, the Boo Box does not need a power supply to program it. So awesome stuff. Look at that, guys. Woohoo! I was just a little bit off when I just got through saying, now that I've read through uh, the instructions just a little bit, enough to make me dangerous. The power supply is for the Boo Box. The ScareMaster does not need a power supply. It runs its power through the data cable and gets its power from the Boo Box. But here, this is like really cool because not you've got ambient mode on it so that when you uh, don't want it to be activated, then it, it's gonna you can have it play a, a musical sound and I believe that you can also uh, program it if you want like your animatronic prop or whatever to you know just like do something that's not scary you know until the the trigger is hit and that's the other thing this thing is so versatile the the triggers you can have a uh, a pressure mat you can have uh, an actor push a push button it can be infrared detected uh, and it can also be, uh, I want to say laser beam, but there's another word for it. Uh, so you've got so many different ways to start this thing working. I'm going to choose to use infrared because fog machines usually don't mess with infrared that much. Uh, pressure mat, I don't want people to see it and not step on it or trip over the cord for it because it's going to be on the grass. Uh, I don't want to have to waste an actor's time to sit there and trigger it. Uh, what was the other one? Hmm. Oh, uh, laser, uh, if the, the, the laser can uh, be affected by fog. So I don't want, I, I want this thing to go off without a hitch and be perfect. Oh, can't tell that I'm excited and talking fast, can you? So really quickly, the way that you program this thing, if you just want to do something really quick, you hit the record button. It is now programming. You come over here and you hit whatever buttons you want to hit, and it's kind of confirmed over here. You know, you can do whatever buttons you want, two at a time. You can actually isolate and program like one button at a time if you're doing like a, a servo and it needs to be, you know, timed right to the uh, to the audio that you have. Hit record again to stop it and watch this. You go and you play it back and I talked it a little while. It should start right there. And that is the exact program that I just got through kind of fiddling with over here. And those are all of your outputs. You've got eight outputs. And uh, all of your outputs are up here. So cool. And actually, actually, damn it. Two of them uh, have relays. So, and, well, they're all relays, but the other ones are solid state, meaning that they are completely electronic. There's no moving parts to wear out. The two that are uh, electromechanical relays um, can handle up to 5 amps each, 120 volts. So if you had a low current uh, requiring device, you could hook it directly with your 120 and not worry about using an external relay to isolate the power. And that's what I'm going to do on everything. I, I don't want to uh, harm the boo box in any way, so all my triggers I'm going to uh, build a relay circuit and uh, use relays to do that. That way if one of the relays goes out, you solder in another one. Because if the boo box goes out, then you got to pay for another one. That would suck. I'd rather pay 12, uh, 12 bucks for a relay than um, uh, 200 bucks for a boo box. So, I guess that's it. Really happy. Oh, this thing, I'll, I think I already said it. It's got ambient mode where you can play a different audio track than the actual scare. It loops the audio track. Uh, you guys need to go online and take a look at this. I mean, there, there's so much that it can do. Um, it's also got DMX capabilities. And it came with uh, two SD cards. 
Uh, one for the Scare Master and one for the Boo Box. So, yeah. Awesome! Alright, so I'm going to go figure out something else to do and uh, get back to you guys in, eh, about that much time. Alrighty guys, I'm going to wrap this up real quick like. I just got through ordering a, another power supply for the prop car again uh, with a higher amperage on it so it's going to take care of the reverse lights. I'm looking into getting one for the brake lights and the brake lights takes like a higher amperage and it's actually kind of difficult to find one for a decent price uh, on eBay so I'm looking. I, I found one but it's in Hong Kong. Yeah, and shipping is like 15 days, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, whoosh, subscribers, shout outs, alternate account 417, thank you for subscribing. You get your point for last night's or night before uh, movie line trivia, so welcome to the contest, and you are on the board. Tyler Bennett fan, Chiller TV channel, and Bruce's man. Thank you guys for subscribing. Everybody feel free to comment, rate, mail. I, I usually, uh, I may not get back to any mail or comments right away. However, um, usually it's like a 24 hour turnaround. I'll do it when I get home from work. Um, if on my lunch break during the day uh, I get a chance, sometimes I'll answer some then too. If I'm up late, <laughs> which happens quite often, more than it should, uh, I also go and uh, take a look at the comments and everything then too and answer some of them and I don't think any really stood out from last night well actually they kind of did um, the bald squid uh, said uh, that he actually rode around in one of those carts at Lowe's so I thought that was kind of funny uh, Dionysia 12 excuse me Dionysia 12 uh, yeah we have the two inch uh, thick blue foam here and I think that's just because it gets I mean it doesn't get like really cold but it gets cold here so and yes uh, the Bloodshed Brothers and everybody else you guys uh, met my roommate last night on the little uh, outtake at the very end um Joy Zagal and Terror Clowns don't be frustrated with the contest there's going to be one next week and actually there's going to be one tomorrow also so that's awesome and <laughs> Yeah, the new place to pick up chicks, Lowe's. I don't know what prompted me to say that last night. I was just like, you know, when you when you go to a place like that and you're trying to find somebody with the same interest, uh, never mind. Long story. Uh, not vlog appropriate. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. So, anyway, guys, girls, spooks, um... Happy haunting. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Grr, arg, grr, arg, grr, arg, grr, arg, grr, arg, grr.